We want to know what's in your makeup bag with Merle Norman. A mask will help protect you from getting sick, but it can be tough on your skin. So today, the one thing that should be in your makeup bag and on your face before you put on a mask. Renee Hid is the studio owner with Merle Norman. That's where we find her this morning is in the shop. What's up, Renee? Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Great to see you. Let's talk a, a little bit about our skin because this is something we want to pay extra special attention to right now with all the masks that we want and are required to wear. Exactly. So, you know, when you put a mask on, you're getting chafing like, you know, around your ear, sometimes around the mouth, and then you have all that extra moisture that's building up in the mask, and that's gonna cause some irritation too. Think about like when your kids are teething, and you know, they have all that extra moisture yeah. on their mouth, and think how chafed they get. So it's really the same thing that's happening. That's probably the number one call I've been getting the last couple of weeks from people, especially health professionals that are wearing masks all the time, that they're, they're getting sores behind their ears, their lips are cracking. So. Um, that's why I thought this would be a good topic for today. I think it's a great topic. I think if you're prone to irritation, that's one reason to really pay extra attention. If you're a healthcare worker, certainly, or if you're wearing one of those N95 masks for some reason, I understand there's carbon in them. And a lot of people are sort of irritated by that stronger medical grade mask. Oh, I would believe it, right. So talk to us about this um, barrier cream that you have. I've actually never heard you talk about it before. It's called oh, Super Loop. Yeah. I can't believe we've never talked about it. It's one of my favorite iconic products. So I don't know how this shows up on the camera, but you can see it's a really dark, pink, thick, almost a, like a Vaseline type texture. And so when you put it on, it's gonna form an occlusive bond and it's gonna help prevent any of that chafing. So um, this is a really old product. We've had this in our line for probably 60 or 70 years. Wow. It was originally a night cream because Merle Norman believed that the skin was made up of oil and moisture. So you needed to replenish the oil one night and the moisture the next. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Well, we don't use that so much now because we have all these other ingredients that feel so good and luxurious on our skin. But this is still has a really good place when we need that extra protection. Um, so I have used this on my kids and grandchildren for chapped lips, for diaper rash. Um, my two-year-old granddaughter has really bad eczema, and we use it on her eczema. In fact, she asks for oopa oop for my back. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't clog pores, Renee? You can put that right on your skin? Right. It's occlusive, so it stays on the surface of the skin. It's not going to clog it at all. Okay. Okay. So and you can use it like on your hands after using like all the hand sanitizer. It's, it does everything. I need it for my cuticles too. <laughs> it works great for the cuticles too. I mm -hmm. bet. Um, so before we put a mask on, what do we need to be doing? So you want to make sure you cleanse with a really gentle cleanser. So use something that doesn't have any fragrance or oils or anything too abrasive on the skin. So keep the skin really nice and soft. Use products that don't have alcohol in for a toner. You just want to pH balance the skin. You might find it helpful if your skin is dry to use um, a dry oil serum before you put your moisturizer on. Um, the dry oil um, is going to absorb in, unlike the Super Lube, which is going to stay on the surface. And it's going to help the hold the moisture oil. in your skin. Yeah, it feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Plus, I love, I love that. the smell of it. Um, sometimes I'm hearing from people that they're breaking out more, especially if you're more normal to oily and your pores tend to clog more naturally. So then you want to make sure to use an acne cleanser um, when you get home and t when you take your mask off. And then maybe just keep a spot treatment in your pocket and you can spot throughout the day to help you know, um, get rid of some of those clogged pores. Don't you also have a, a makeup that is a zinc oxide based? Yep, we do. So that's another original product. You probably haven't heard us talk about that either because we always talk about the new stuff, right? <laughs> uh, this is Merle Norman's original base and it really wasn't even, um, she didn't even have the concept that it would be a makeup. It was really protection. Um, and zinc oxide is the first ingredient. So when you put this on, um, you're gonna, again, form that occlusive barrier. And zinc oxide is super healing and super protective. Nice. Real quick, when the mask comes off, what do we need to be doing? You need to cleanse, again, immediately, um, tone, and then put a nice rich cream on, but not one like the Super Lube. Put something more like um, a night cream on that's gonna 
you know, really nourish and condition the skin. Okay, and I know you have the clay mask, which is great. The charcoal mask would be mm -hmm. good to do maybe even once a week or something like that. Exactly, right? exactly, right. And you and also, if you're dry, then the moisture mask. Okay, and just in, you have exclusive hand sanitizers, right? That were actually produced in your plant. Yeah, isn't that exciting? You know, Merle Norman saw the need and completely retooled things, knowing that we have alcohol in our in ingredients already, like in toners and some other things. So they retooled it and they came out with two sizes of hand sanitizer. One is small that you can carry in your purse and this larger size. What I love about it is that it's a spray. So you can do solid surfaces as well. It's 75% alcohol. So it really does a good job of um, sanitizing. Fantastic. Great to see you, Renee. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Absolutely. And there are locations for Merle Norman in Brookfield Square and Hales Corners on Highway 100 between Grange and Edgerton. Also in Economwalk, they're located at Paps Farms and there's also a shop in historic downtown West Bend. Now studios have limited hours right now while they're navigating the reopening. So you might want to call ahead just to make sure that the studio closest to you is open and ready to see you.